My name is Sipamad Lamjali. I'm coming from the company called Think Now Insurance. We provide three types of services. Funeral insurance, wedding insurance, totally. We also provide a health insurance. Today I'm gonna to speak about our core product, funeral insurance. We established this product, funeral insurance, last year, and we started operating today. Our product called, we call our product Think Now Funeral Insurance. We, funeral insurance. Think Now Funeral Insurance. We provide um, up to 11 products that you can choose from. That's, f that's a first for the funeral insurance to give you choices. Also on our funeral insurance, we created Anomia's great product that suits the, our clients. On our product, we're the first insurance in South Africa to give up to nine months premium breaks. We're the first in South Africa to cover up to the age of, of 100. <laughs> yes, you are gonna ask me a question and tell me which company co covers up to the age of 100. Also, on our product, we give our clients, our clients a chance. If you died in a suicide, we also cover you in full. <laughs> also on our product, also on our product, you can pay as little as 15 rand and cover up to eight people. Yes, you're right. This might sound as a joke. This is the product that people need in the market. This is a product that will help people's life. Some people are dying without money to bury themselves. Think Now Funeral Insurance is here for them. Not only for them, it's also here for you. If you wanna be savvy about your money and start saving, this is the company to go with. When we started, we were like the small fishes in a tank full of sharks. That's why you're laughing at us. Why? Because we wanna innovate in the insurance market. We wanna change things in the insurance market. We want to make it different. That's why we're also offering wedding insurance. That's for the first in South Africa. Because why? We're promoting a successful life. We want people to get married like you, Mr. MC. We want, we want, to, do, we want to help Tolly grow her business by providing that insurance. If you want to save, that's a company you need to join. If you want a good life with your family, you need to be part of thinking of funeral insurance. Thank you. What's your FSB number? And who's your reinsurer? Because actually it just doesn't sound possible what you say. You're 100% right. It sounds ridiculous. Our FSB number is 9797. Our administrator is think, oh, sorry, it's Smart Micro Insurance down in Cape Town. Our underwriter is Salam. Can you believe it? <laughs> <laughs> Also, this pamphlet, if you want it, I will give you, use that FSP number. You will find us on that FSP number. When you are venturing into a new market yes. that is riddled with risk in terms of your, 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 your payout versus your premium collection versus your overhead, someone has to look at your risk profile and say, will you be open in a year? in five years, in 10 years. So who manages that so that Think Now does not become extinct and, and goes the way of the dinosaur because of its courage. Courage is good, but courage in business might be my worry investors. Thank you so much for that question. We partnered with Smart Micro Insurance in Cape Town. Of which they manage all our risk. As I will clarify, I offer up to 18,000 of, of, uh, of payouts and I don't pay that from my own pocket. Think Now and Salam, they do all those payouts. And also, how we manage our finances. You're not going to find people every Saturday at the end of the month standing in our offices to pay their premiums. We do debits. Why? Because we got an FSP number and we are trained to be the financial service provider. Without that, we cannot provide that service in an insurance business. Do you, do you have a client base at the moment? Uh, and if what? you do, can you, I don't know if you can, like you can reveal the... Oh yes, I can reveal my client base. At the moment, we currently, we started operating in April 26 this year. At the moment, we've got 338 clients. And our, 
our first debit, they were on the 1st of May up to now. And on our first debit, we only had about 10 declines, of which that was pretty good for the startup. And this month, at the moment, we only got about few, about five declines. That what, is, what the decline means, means uh, the account didn't go through because it's wrong or the client gave the wrong information. So at the moment, we are 338.